हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेक्स स्टडीज टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट प्रिडिक्टिव पार्सिंग टेबल हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ प्रिडिक्टिव पार्सिंग टेबल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू चेक वेदर हाउ मेनी टर्मिनल सिंबल्स आर देयर इन ग्रामर एंड हाउ मेनी नॉन टर्मिनल सिंबल्स सो पुट ऑल द नॉन टर्मिनल सिंबल्स एट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वर्टिकली एंड पुट ऑल द नॉन ऑल द टर्मिनल सिंबल्स एट द टॉप ऑफ द टेबल लाइक If we have production a tends to a b b tends to b c c tends to c. So if we have to construct predictive parsing table for this, so check there are three non-terminals a capital A capital B and capital C and three non-terminals a b and small c. So we have to put uh, these non-terminals here at the left hand side and. A, B, and C. All the non-term, all the terminal symbols at the top of the table. Now these are the rules. For each A tends to alpha. Like here, for each each production, we have to check if A tends to alpha. We have to find out first of right hand side. Like here, first of if we take first production, first of A B is what? First of A B is what? First of A in this whole first a uh, first symbol is what A so first of A first of A is what this is A because this is terminal symbol and first of terminal symbol is what terminal symbol for each A in first of alpha create entry M A A A here is what uh, the symbol from which the production is derived here A is the M we have to create M A And a equals to a to a b. So, so for a a we get this production a tends to a b. If we take b tends to b c, and we check first of b c here. First of b c is what? First of b and is b. So we put m left uh, either here left hand side symbol is b. And B to B is what? B to B C. This is just a uh, rough example. Now, let us take a uh, example for this. Here is the example. Uh, we already discussed this problem earlier earlier in video of first and follow. So we already calculated first and follow of this grammar. So now we have to uh, construct predictive parsing table of this grammar. The rule is that. we have to find out firstly what are the terminal symbols here terminal symbols here is plus star starting brace closing brace and id and also we have to add dollar in the uh, top uh, on the top where we add terminal symbol so we get plus star starting brace closing brace id and dollar and in the left hand side we have to write what non terminal symbols non terminal symbols are here e e dash t t dash f so this is the uh, predictive parsing table now we have to take each and every production one by one let us take first production what is first first production e to t e dash so in Each production you have to find out first of this. So first of T E dash is what? First of first of T E dash is of first of T and first of T is from here we get starting brace and I D. Now we have to put M from E to starting brace. We get this production E to T E dash. M E to I D we get this production E to T E dash. Now take another production. Another production is what E dash tends to plus T E dash. So we have to finally first the so first of plus T E dash. First of plus T E dash is what first of plus. First of plus is what plus. So here we have to put M 
E dash the symbol at the left hand side of production in column of plus as E dash to plus T E dash. So put these two uh, these production in the table M E for starting brace E to T E dash M E for ID E to ID we get E to T E dash here we get M E dash for plus uh, here E dash to plus T E dash now uh, take another production here is another production what is E dash to null now we get production which derives null so we already studied that if we get null we have to find the follow of the left hand side symbol so we have to calculate follow of E dash from the table we write this as follow of E dash follow of E dash is what closing brace and dollar now M of E dash comma closing brace equals to E dash to null M for E dash to uh, for dollar E dash to null now put this in predictive parsing table E dash for closing brace we get E dash to null and E dash for dollar we get E dash to null now we have another productions so take each production one, of, one by one so that there is no chance for any mistake now take another production t2 f t dash so same here first of f t dash first of f t dash is what first of f first of f from this table first of f is what starting brace and id now put this m left hand side symbol t2 starting brace we get t2 f t dash m t for id we get t2 f t dash put this in predictive parsing t for starting brace we get t2 f t dash and t for id we get t2 f t dash now take us this production t dash 2 star f t dash star uh, this is the production so we have to calculate what right of uh, first of right hand side term so we have to calculate first of star f t dash it is what first of star so first of star is what star so m t dash says to star we have this production t dash to star f t dash so t dash for star we get t dash to star f t dash now take another production what is other production t dash to null so here we have production t dash to which derives null so we have to take follow of left hand side symbol so follow of t dash follow of t dash is what from this table we take plus closing brace and dollar so put these this a t dash to null production in these columns m t dash to plus m t dash for closing brace and m t dash for dollar put this t dash to null t dash to null and t dash to null here t dash for plus we get t dash to null t dash for closing brace we get t dash to null and for dollar t dash to null now we have uh, some more productions we have a uh, production f2 the starting brace e now calculate first of e we get first of what 
starting brace a starting brace is what terminal symbol so first of this is starting brace so put m of f comma uh, starting brace we get f2 e f for starting brace we get f2 e and the last production f2 id calculate first of right hand side first of id is what id so m m is just i think the name of this predictive parsing table so m f2 id gives f2 id so here is f2 id so we get this predictive parsing table and uh, rest rest all the uh, all the columns are error these show error if our string uh, reaches these columns the string is an error we can can't parse the string from this parsing table so these are the errors this is the predictive parsing table for the grammar and if the, if in the question there is a, there is a string you have to parse the string like here the given string is id plus id star id you have to parse the string whether it is parsed by this predictive parsing table or not so there is a stack a input and action column so first of all you have to push dollar in the stack so push dollar in the stack this is the first step push dollar in the stack and push the starting state starting state here is what e so push e to the stack now write the input here input here is what id plus id star id and also add dollar to the end of the input string here we add dollar now check for e and id for e id we get e to t e dash so we have to push t e dash to the stack and pop out e so we write it as if we uh, push this t e dash first of all e dash is pushed e dash t and id plus id star id dollar so uh, there is not any input matching so write this as and what action we performed e to t e dash write this in action column now check for t to id t to id what we get t to f t dash so we get dollar e dash t dash f and same here id plus id star id dollar and t to f t dash now check for f to id f to id what we get f to id what we get f to id so here is dollar e dash t dash id and id plus id star id dollar and what production we used f2 id so here id id gets match so pop out this from stack and remove this from input we get dollar e dash t dash and plus id star id and dollar now check for t dash for plus t dash for plus t dash for plus is what null so we get dollar e dash and plus id star id dollar so what action we use t dash to null now check for e dash and plus e dash and plus what we get plus t e dash so push this dollar e dash e dash plus t so we get e dash t and plus and plus id star id dollar what we use here is e dash to plus t e dash now here also this this is match so pop out this from stack and remove this from input what we get is dollar e dash t and id star id dollar and t for id now check t for id what we get f t dash now write this as dollar e dash t dash f and id star id dollar 
so what a uh, vortex and we used here is t2 id t2 id is what t2 f t dash now f for id f for id what we get is dollar e dash t dash id and here is what id star id dollar and what action we used f2 id here also this is made so pop pop out this from stack and remove this from string dollar e dash t dash and star id dollar so t dash for star we check t dash t dash for star is what t dash to star f t dash so we write it as dollar e dash t dash f star and here is what doll star id dollar which production we use t dash to star f t dash now star star matcher so pop out this from stack and remove this from input we get dollar e dash t dash f and id and dollar now f check for f and id f and id what we get f2 id so here we get dollar e dash t dash id and id and dollar so id id matches now uh, i will do here in this corner uh, what we get f2 id 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 matches so uh, stack stack becomes dollar e dash t dash and what is input here dollar and so now check for t dash and dollar t dash and dollar what we get null so write this dollar e dash dollar and what we here do here is t dash to null now check for e dash to dollar e dash to dollar what we get e dash to null so dollar dollar and what is what e dash to null since we get the these symbols are same now our whole string is passed and there is no error in between these so we can easily say that we can pass this string from the uh this predictive parsing table so this is all about predictive parsing table and string uh now in next video i will take another example whole example with first and follow and all the rules if you have any problem comment in the comment box Th there are also uh, notes available in the des description box so please check and if you have any problem then comment in comment box and uh, i'll answer you